everybody. Welcome back to Baseline Farms. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. So I just want to give you a quick update as to what's happening on the farm. And for those of you that live in Zone 9B and are wondering what you need in order to start seeds inside, then I have a list for you. But first, let me give you an update. So we have been working on our barn and this is the primer that we put on the barn before we're gonna put the red paint. And then we're doing the finishing pieces up on the top here. So that's getting done, that's exciting. The garden's looking great. So this is my winter garden and it's doing fantastic. The carrots are doing really well. I did do some succession planting in here. So every month I believe started, I started in September, September, October, November. I planted something in the garden. So this bed had a bunch of, um, here's some carrots and then I have some onions that are not quite, um, yeah, they're not, they're not ready at all. And then we have some lettuce and some broccoli right there, some purple broccoli. Then in the back, I have some more lettuce, carrots, and onion in this bed. And then in this bed, we have some mixed greens in the front. We have the second bed is going to have some garlic and then some shallots and then elephant garlic and more carrots. So that's the winter garden. And I've shown this garden quite a bit. so. There's not much going on in that one. The big garden, we need to get the trencher back in there because all of the holes have been covered with dirt because we did have a lot of rain. <clears throat> and then it has been super windy today. So yeah, it's been a busy day. So I can't wait to get irrigation in this garden. I had to hand water this garden this morning and it took me two full tanks um, in the buggy. And I think that's a hundred, over a hundred gallons of water. So I had to water all of this, it's ridiculous. So I cannot wait to get the irrigation in here so I don't have to do that. Um, but here's a few peas. Um, I did have a few more peas in here, but a bunch of birds were eating on them. So then I put this mask right here and the birds have stopped eating on them. So those are, our, those are the peas that were survivors. But yeah, oh, so the list, the list of things that you're gonna need or the seeds that you're gonna need for um, zone 9B are broccoli, cabbage, celery, uh, cucumber, eggplant, peas, peppers, potatoes, soybean, let's see, like edamame, um, and squash and tomatoes. So those are the seeds that you can actually start planting indoors. And I believe the peas, you can actually sow them in the ground and the uh, white potatoes you can actually sow those in the ground as well or at least get potato slips so um so that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow oh let me show you the seed starting mix that i'm using so i'm just starting using this this regular seed starting mix that i got from our local nursery last year i didn't use seed starting mix i actually just used this potting soil and they actually came up pretty good but i did start them too early so I have a bunch of these trays right here, which I'm gonna clean and I'm gonna utilize them. And then I'm gonna use these trays to uh, water them underneath. I don't know why it's stuck, but it's stuck. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start those tomorrow. So if you guys wanna start some seeds and you live in zone 9D, right now is the best time to start them indoors. Our last frost is supposed to be February 7th. So, um, so yeah. So six weeks before, four to six weeks before the last frost, six weeks landed us on January 17th. So anytime this week you could plant, actually anytime from here on out, you can plant the whole month of January and February, you can do those. So yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So hopefully you enjoy this short video. Take care, be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.